The vision behind Winlater XR is simple yet ambitious, to make it possible to play full-fledged PC VR games and mods directly on standalone VR headsets, such as the MetaQuest 3 and the Pico 4 Ultra, without the need for a high-end gaming PC. When I first set out on this journey, I imagined it would be a long-term project, with 2030 as a realistic target for achieving this level of performance and compatibility. However, thanks to a wave of recent breakthroughs in the software, this goal now feels much closer than anyone anticipated. UEVR has already demonstrated how to bring non-VR Unreal Engine games into a fully immersive VR format on PC, unlocking vast new libraries of content for VR players. While UEVR is not yet compatible with WinLater XR, every new development brings us closer to bridging that gap. In recent months, WinLater XR has evolved from a solo passion project into a growing collaborative effort, with more developers joining in to expand its capabilities and explore new possibilities. One developer successfully implemented Pico headset support, broadening the range of compatible devices beyond the MetaQuest line. Another integrated both Bionic and Proton into WinLater, dramatically improving compatibility and performance for a wider variety of PC applications. During conversations with several of these developers, we explored ways to deepen VR integration. I eventually agreed to expose headset tracking data from standalone devices directly to the Windows applications running inside WinLater. This was a pivotal step toward enabling native-feeling VR experiences. One developer took this a step further, creating a testing Unity project to put the new API to the test. Despite the fact that my API was admittedly far from perfect, limited in scope and still in need of refinement, he managed to achieve something remarkable, a fully immersive VR experience of a PC VR project, running entirely on a standalone headset. It was a moment that underscored the incredible potential of WinLater XR. With just a few key breakthroughs and the right collaborative spirit, the boundary between PC VR and standalone VR is already beginning to blur. We're keeping an eye on some of the most exciting PC VR mods out there, exploring which ones could be adapted to run smoothly on standalone headsets. Imagine enjoying your favorite modded VR experiences without the need for a powerful PC. We'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment and let us know which PC VR mod you'd most like to see brought over to standalone. Your input helps us prioritize what to work on next. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll be the first to know when we have got the very first PC VR game fully running on standalone hardware. Big things are coming.